<clears throat> okay, YouTube, this is Vargo, Vargo Beats. There you go. I'm showing you guys today how to use the Akai MPK 25, just the basic setup, what you need to know to get it working. I have it on FL Studios because that's what I use, that's the program I produce with. Let me open Fruity Loops. Here we go. All right, first, you need to go to your options. Go to MIDI settings, which was already up actually, but I had to show you where it is. And you want to click on the Akai MPK 25, and that's it, and it's synced. Make sure this is lit, and make sure this is lit, enabled so it's enabled and then for example hit the kick all right that's that but i mean you don't really want to use the keyboard for the kick unless that's what you really want to do so to get the pad bank to where you can set it up how you want it on your own you got to go to this right here right click it and then open up the FPC right and this as you can see I'm pressing well I guess there's nothing in there it's probably already empty but first you would want to go to right here hit empty click this down all the way at the bottom map notes for entire bank so you click that and you want to hit them in order of however you want them alright so that's done so we'll drag a sound here's a bass see you can just keep dragging stuff drag it to the second one you know <clears throat> find other sound drag it to whichever one you want it in That's how you get the pad bank to be how you want it to be. Now for the knobs, all right? Also with the pad bank, you got four banks. So that gives you a total of, I don't know, 48 pads you can use. I mean, that's a lot. I don't know if you'll need that many, but here's how you do the knobs. And you can do the knobs with virtual, like with anything on this program, right? So first, up on FL Studios, <clears throat> you want to click this button. Click it, go over to, say, the kick, and then just tweak it a little, and then go down to whichever knob you want it to be. I want it to be this one, and then just tweak this a little, and now it works with that see and you can do that for the whole for the whole thing you can do it for here or for instance you can do it with uh here let me open something else you can do it with with this too you know anything you can all right so you would want to click this again go down to this right here just tweak it you know then go down, pick whatever knob you want, just tweak it up, and now you can use the knob to make it go up and down. So you can use these knobs with any program on Fruity Loops 
or you can just use them all for right here which you have two banks of this or two control banks so you know that's a lot of knobs you can have a lot of uh, options with that but basically that is how you set up the Akai MPK25 and then just uh, throw this in there use a keyboard you would want to find something like a I don't know I use this sound a lot because I love it so I'll throw this in there and that's the citrus the orchestra click on it and then then you know to use a pad bank of course you're gonna have to click back up on this it says empty but this is the FPC so you click on that and then you know you could record it this is how you record it you know this is the record hit that hit the play you'll get that little three count and then you just You know, and that's the basics for the MPK 25 on Fruity Loops FL Studios. That's that, this Virgo Beats. There you go. Remember that sign? That's that shit.